to go before the weekend, but it's never too early to start thinking about weekend brunch. Brunch is like, I miss it so much. We've got an easy one for you. It's a one-pot dish idea that you're going to love. Here to prepare it, Chef Paul Lillikis. He makes good food. Thank you. Chef, yes. what are we making? Okay, so we're making brunch today, and I like it to be simple. I mean, yeah. I love an eggs benny. I love a more complicated brunch. Yes. But for some people, they just want something that you can take right to the table, present. This is a one skillet hash with sausages, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of onions, and then the eggs are lightly steamed right in it. Mm. So you can take it to the table, present it in the skillet itself. As soon as you said hash, I was on board. Yeah. Like, I love anything that's that potato-y, sweet potato-y. It's phenomenal. Right. But I have a question for the audience. So clap for me if breakfast is your favorite meal of the day. <laughs> breakfast. It's good, right? So that means that's good because it means you're eating it, which is very good. A lot of people like breakfast because it is easy. It's yeah. an easier meal to prepare for the day, and there's so many great foods in breakfast, I find. Yeah. So and how do we start by making this one? Okay, so this one starts with the breakfast sausage. So I've already browned mine off. Yes. And then I've started cooking my diced sweet potatoes, my diced red pepper, and my sweet onion in the fat that comes from the sausage. So yes. depending on how lean it is, you might need to add a little splash of oil. You might not. Yeah. And I'm just flavoring that... Very simply, a little bit of salt and pepper I've already put in, a little bit of smoked paprika, Ooh. and then just a little bit of garlic. And that's really all there is to it. You don't need to over season this. These are flavors enough. Yeah. And you could already smell that smoked paprika and the garlic, oh, right? I love smoked paprika for that. It doesn't add a lot of heat, but it does add the smoke. Exactly. And I love the smoke. It adds complexity. It makes yeah. it homey, earthy. And now... We're going to wilt in some baby spinach. So nice. what I love to do, this adds nutrients and some color. And I'm just going to throw that all Why in not? there. Why not? And what? this will steam in there. If you want yeah. it to steam really quickly, you just throw a lid on for a second. Let that wilt. And then it literally disappears into it. Yeah. But it adds that little pop of green. It adds a little nutrients, like I said. And yeah, and really, we're just... Wilting this until it comes together. So now I'm going to incorporate that sausage that I already browned yes, and I sir. just chopped up. Yeah. So this is a pretty hearty and filling breakfast. So you don't really need to serve this with toast. You don't need to serve it with a ton of eggs. Yeah. So once this is wilted and sort of homogenous, you know, it looks yes. like all the same. I'm going to dig a few wells in here. And you want to crack some eggs with me? Oh my gosh, let's do it. Dig a few wells into it. And this is kind of what makes it fun to present at the table just like this, kind of like shakshuka. Yeah. So Right into pretty. the well. And then I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, you want to do one more with me? Well, since I'm a pro. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Not a shell. There's something so awesome about being able to put, like, I think everything in a pan needs an egg. Yeah. I'm one of those people, I love eggs. It's extra protein. Why wouldn't you just go for it, right? Totally. And now lid on, and then just cook this until whatever your desired doneness is. Everybody's right. got different tastes. If you like them, I like, like, a medium, you know? Yeah, medium. Soft in the middle, but I like the white to be nice and cooked. And yes. now just a little bit of green onion on top for some extra color. It goes nicely with the flavors that we've already selected. And then, like I said, you could take this right to the table and maybe serve it with a mocktail that the whole family can enjoy. We're going to get to the mocktail, but first, take a look at this audience. What do you think of this amazing-looking breakfast? That looks phenomenal. So since we are doing brunch, uh, we do want to do a bit of a drink to go with it because that's part of, I mean, the brunches I'm usually at have some kind of a bottomless mimosa element to me that. Me too, me too. We're going to do a mocktail. Um, it's going to taste delicious. Yeah. What is the mocktail? Okay, so we're going to do a virgin Paloma A virgin mocktail. Paloma. I don't even know what a Paloma is. So it's a tequila, grapefruit, lime cocktail. Oh, and we're nice. going to make it with really good quality ginger ale today. Oh, so good. Not it's complicated. Fresh. It's fresh. Yeah. And, you know, you could, you could also, you could make this, you know, with tequila for adults if you want it. Yes. But, or you could just keep it as a mocktail and have the whole family enjoy it. So, Absolutely. Into the glass here with a little bit of ice. Do you want to do uh, the pink what grapefruit juice? Oh, it's pink grapefruit we're juice. We're going to do about equal parts. So that's good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to top that up. Yeah, with, that's delicious. And then a little bit of lime. Okay. And we're just going to squeeze the juice from about a quarter of a lime, a big wedge. Nice. Give it a little stir, and we're going to garnish it with a pink grapefruit slice. And now, 
you don't have to do this, but a little trick. Yeah. I've got a time spray here, and we just want to release the oil. So what I'm going to ask you to do is just smack it. Smack it against the oh. back of your wrist. Paul, I've never seen you like this. <laughs> okay, so just <laughs> smack it. Or you could just squeeze it, but just so you can release the oils, you can smell the oh, aroma. Oh, you can smell it all right. And then you just throw it in like that. You don't want little bits of thyme in your drink. You just yeah. want that to come into the nose while you're taking a sip, and it yeah. really elevates it. And is that like some kind of a joke, or is that for real? No, that's for real. Okay, just check it. <laughs> I've never seen that before. It's like what they do with mint for mint julep. Love it. Oh, yeah. is that what they do? It's like a bartender trick. Oh my gosh. But if so you're cool. uncomfortable, you could just squeeze it. Oh my but god, I'm not boring. uncomfortable with any of it. There's nothing wrong with a good slap. Okay, so we've got this gorgeous. <laughs> Stop it. We've got this gorgeous, beautiful breakfast brunch, uh, and I feel like I should share it. Is there anyone in the audience that would love to try a little bit of this? Just put up your. Okay, we got a taker. So right up here in the green shirt. Come on up. Give us a love. Come on in here. Okay, so yeah. have you ever had anything like that for your uh, breakfast? I've had chachuca, but yes. this is the first time I'm having this. Yeah. All oh, right. I can't wait for you to try mm. it. So you get it straight from Chef Paul. There you go. Take a bite and I'll take the mic away because there's nothing more awkward. That's what I basically sure do every cooking segment. Everything. Eat I'm and have to I'm talk. Messy that's okay. okay. All right, that's all right. We're just not, not going to watch you, but kind of watch you. Here, you can have the cocktail. Mm. What do you think? Oh, uh, it's too good. I'm having this every day for breakfast. <laughs> I'm going to Excellent. The slap made all the difference. Thank you, Chef. Find the recipe on CityLine.tv.